partner side of the bracket, which means that um, Team Pi will have to defeat them twice, two sets, to take the tournament. Not impossible, but definitely could be tough. So it looks like uh, Poem is going to be starting it off for Team Pi, and Noel Brown is going to be starting off for Team EGUVG. And we're going to be jumping right into it. All right, let's go. So game number one between these two teams. Noel's always comfortable starting things off in the team tournament. He knows he's got his strong uh, you know, EG partners, I comrades find, behind him. Yeah. So he lets the, it gets it gives him the opportunity to open it up with Vega a little bit, even though he's a more of a passive player. I find that uh, people really uh, underestimate Noel Brown's gameplay, especially in Street Fighter 4, and they don't really get that. Actually, this guy's a very solid player, and he spends time around a lot of other very solid players. Right. So he has a surprising amount of knowledge at this game, despite how it may look. Sure. We didn't see him get to do too much against uh, Zeus being a, such a character specialist, but Vega is a great character for him. It lets him just play a basic game, stick a rely with uh, reliable pokes, long range pokes, and slow play things. He's, let the opponent make mistakes. Yeah, he's very good at just down backing and punishing you for an entire match. And in a single game format like teams, you can that's a very good strategy. You can definitely get away with it. He's not trying to outplay you, he's trying to outthink you. Willing to do it slowly here. Paul with a comfortable life lead here at 20 seconds. Vega not the most explosive. That's right. He does have a trick here or there coming off the wall. Can be hard to defend. And this is a charge character matchup. And as you know, charge characters love to, uh, to keep their advantage and keep their charge when they're at advantage. Oh, the max range slide. Paul just didn't block. Yep. Stuck the EX through and then the roundhouse. Paul takes round number one. He lets those EXs rip from after disadvantage. Nobody's ready for them. Noel's on full super right now. Nice. That is minus three, by the way, on the rush punch. Yeah, but that's a four frame normal. Ooh, it is. He just got caught. Nice Good block. block. He could have punished, but at least he went for a tick setup. So Noel's defending himself really well. Just needs some solid damage, and he gets it. Into a setup. Nice. Oh, counter hit. He might get stunned here. Another setup. Okay, Kara grab is teched. Great usage of the stand short there. One of Vega's best in close tools. But Vega again, Ultra. home with those EXs, man. Spent two of them to make his way out from disadvantage. Yeah. Noel wasn't ready. Noel did get a little over aggressive. One, two, three. Poem opening things up here. Oh man, this is bad. Might bring it back. Good break. Okay. No punish. Ooh, so close. He tried to walk it down. Yeah, he should have had a tap ready. He's got him in the corner already. He's back to the other side. He's got to guard it now. Okay. More pressure from Poem. The wall without the claw makes it much more difficult to get out with that crowd strong. He comfortably gets out with nice the wall grab. jump. Can't forget that one. Right through the EX rush punch. The wall picks up the claw and a nice standing forward punish. That was the experience factor coming through. Noel staying cool, calm, and collected down in 22 seconds. Now he's got the psychological advantage going into this third round. That's right. And best believe that Noel is not going to deviate from this strategy. It's gotten a many a win, and it's making this match very close. Oh, uh, caught by the overhead. Wow, man, he is 12 for 12. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, 12 for 13. That is still not that bad. It could have been much worse in that situation. Good anti air there. Can be hard to anti air Vega. Noel's got to get out of this corner somehow. And Poem just letting him out. Does have advantage here. Nice stand around house. Ouch, again. And that move is two hits, so if he does go for the EX rush and Noel times it well, he will snuff it. Good adaptation from Noel there. Mm -hmm. Poem has seeded quite a bit of positioning and life in the <laughs> life in the process 
his lead is no longer comfortable. He could get chipped down to a That's neutral true. situation, equal life situation. And Noel is not going to lend this end without spending some of that bar, that is for sure. Yeah. And we see that Poem, he loves to do these surprise EXs. That's where, that's his trait. That's his trick as a Balrog. This Noel might be wise to it now. Good bait. Wise to those EX surprises. That, ooh, oh, and he went close. for it. Got too close. Ten seconds remain. Turn around punch and over a good block, good punish by Noel, and he takes the round. That is the set. One EX too many. I'm sorry, one overhead too many from Poem. Well, I hope Poem rewatches this one later because um Definitely a strategy that he should be prepared for. He anyway, pretty much got, got lamed out. Yep. It's tough. Vega outranges him with his pokes. And that's a huge victory for Team EGUVG being one up on the scoreboard already. Here comes Team Pi Smug. And again, this is the grand final. 3v3 Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. Directly after this, we're going to have the top eight of Ultimate Marvel 3. And then we're going to follow that up with the top eight of Street Fighter singles. Find out who's going to get those Pro Tour qualifier points. Smug player one side is Dudley. Noel player two, he's playing Claw. It's gonna be tough for Noel. Mm -hmm. One wrong move and blown up. <laughs> yeah, it's speed work, man. The gloves fly, fly fast and furious. Vega doesn't have any strong defensive tools. He just likes to be just evasive and keep you at the tip of the claw if you possibly can. Not having success already here at 93 seconds in. The most important thing in. is that Spud cannot allow Noel to frustrate him. If he gets jabbed out of his strings a couple of times or anything like that, he should just you know take the knocks and roll with it. I mean, nice likewise, overhead. Noel can't get frustrated. He's got to stay uh, resilient with these defensive options. Smug will make him pay. Wake up Ultra uses it early. I like this choice from this Noel. This what I'm talking about. This is what starts that frustration. See what I mean? Oh. This is, he can, Smug cannot let this happen. You had he cannot the call, lose here. Spooky. You had the call. Smug trying to build up a little meter from full screen. He's got to be careful. He can be punished by that uh, if Vega has charge. And Noel likes the situation. He's glad to down back here and look for something he can punish. Got him. He's done. That throw does. Yeah, Massive health, this, it just hurts. Everybody is just falling prey to these Dudley uh, ground strings. Nobody's really gotten wise to them yet. Sweet. Uh, not to say that I have, but uh, Smug is so good at burying them he's, up that nobody really, really he's knows He's really good do. at playing aggressive. And I think that that's not necessarily about the character, but more about Smug. He's really good at, should I go overhead? Should I go low? Yeah. Should I OS? Should oh, I yeah. bait? He's really good at making those offensive decisions. Yeah. Just like right but there. But again, he opens Noel up. He's finding, after these uh, forward uh, forward kicks, man, and uh, those EX sways in, he's really taking advantage of everybody today. Yeah, I, I'll tell you that um, sway is a move that I did not think was that strong uh, upon first seeing it because it's not really that strong in third strike either outside yeah. of a couple of situations, sure. right? Yeah. But actually, it's, it's surprisingly difficult to react to, especially the EX version. I find that even strong players have a hard time reacting. Yeah, the way that he ends is kind of deceptively farther forward than his hitbox looks towards the end of it, so he's closer for a grab than it seems. So a lot of times Smug is, is grabbing people at the end of the EX Sway when they don't think that he's in grab range, it appears to me. It looks like Dudley is actually out of grab range, but he's, make, he's getting a lot of mileage off of that, and as well as after the, the forward plus forward kick, a lot of players are pressing buttons out of fear and just getting blown up in that situation. But it's hard to be patient when he starts coming in there working those shorts and you're scared of the overhead that will eventually come. And, all, and we saw as well, Noel did try to throw in a few back dashes early on in the strings and he got caught with the, uh, the fierce, the sand fierce or the forward fierce. And once you catch one or two of those, you think, well, I'm at 20 or 40% stun. Can, can I really take the same choice? It's sometimes true. sometimes it's true. you do need to throw out the same back dash option. And, uh, you know, Smug is also very aware of what stuns and what doesn't. He's yeah. very good at looking at how much bar he has and saying, okay, I can stun by going for this particular setup. Early knockdown for K-Brad. Won't have to worry about as much K-Brad, of course, with the invincible DP option for wake up. Knockdown. Misses the combo, yeah. still gets the knockdown. Early stun. 
She stunned Dudley. That's crazy. This guy has massive stun. Good God. Done. That was free. Did you see the combo that he did on Dudley after mm -hmm. he stunned him? Yep. <laughs> he did walk forward like strong, 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 or strong, fierce, strong. I don't know, man. Yeah, K Brad, K Brad knows the frames on all his normals, and he can find multiple ways to combo into the situations he wants. Nice EX. Great response. Great read. Yep. And doesn't try to overplay his hand. Nice from Smug. And he'll get another. This is going to be a good situation for him. K Brad's going to have to. Oh, that was lucky. So lucky. Oh my goodness, was that a. I don't know about that setup. That was weird. Nice pressure from K Brad. Got Everything's stun. working out for K Brad. Oh, this is here. enough. This is enough. He's dead. It's over. His next broken. They don't need to chip him. They don't need to chip it's him. It's over. Oh no! When did that happen? Oh, and Smug with a drop. Okay. Too bad on that one. Some, some right. huge drops this weekend from Smug, really. Cost him his tournament life and might cost him his team tournament life here. That is just unfortunate. And Smug is not afraid to go for the perfectly timed meaty out of nowhere. And I've noticed that about him this weekend. Uh -huh. And it actually came back to haunt him a few times in that matchup. He mistimed his meaty early on. K Brad got to woke up with the short hitting his uh, short in recovery. And another time he got to wake up with the grab. Slug is really living on the edge with these combos. Everything that he does, he makes the character look so overpowered, but even just the little things that he does require almost frame perfect timing. Yeah. Or in many cases, frame perfect timing. I mean I've seen I've seen a lot of Dudley even before the advent of uh, Smug. And I mean I uh, Martin Dudley, you know, I'm very familiar with as an example, right? But I saw Martin Dudley more of as a foot team type of style versus uh Smug really just has like so many setups and combos. And different little tricks, stuff like that. Let's get started. All right, so Zeus on the player one side, he's got to take two straight for his team here. <laughs> one of them's Justin Wong, by the way. Zeus is That's a looking, tough one. Zeus is looking fearless, man. He's not afraid to walk up to Cammy and press some buttons. Better to do it now when she doesn't have meter, I suppose. Yep. Nice flip kick. And a great cross-up setup. Very impressive spacing by Zeus there, forcing tons of whiffs out of K Bride. K Bride just trying to get momentum started, but Zeus so slickly evading all his attempts at pressure. I like it. Good break. Keeping him at maximum striking that distance because that punish. was beautiful. Punish. He's done. Zeus is just keeping him at the edge of his striking range because he, he outranges Cammy. And we saw it just there. Yep. The whiff punish For on sure. the jab. Taking advantage of the fast walk speed and the spacing to get so much work done. Oh, early start from K Brad. He's putting on the pressure. Nice escape from Zeus and gets the combo. Multiple one frame links there. And now Zeus is back to this zoning style of gameplay, staying just outside of Cape Brad's range so that he cannot attack effectively. He's guarding the corner at this point. He's guarding the corner, but Cape Brad found his way out. Claw's gone. That's a big, big change. Cape Brad has red defense, and he's airing it out a little bit more on the offensive and trying to take advantage of some of these, uh, meet these huge block stun normals. Nice air grab. Oh, the deal is sealed. What did he wake Never. up with? I'm not sure. Quarto. That was what nice. What did he wake up with? Zeus Spooky. made that look free, man. Why is everybody waking up standing and getting hit? I don't know. That's just the guessing it. game. That's not a guessing game, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything. He could have been mashing backdash. He could have been buffering DP and changed his mind. That's a good one. Good one. Good, good, good call. Good insight there. I'll roll with that one. All right. So the handshake occurs, and now we have a K Brad. Excuse me. Uh, Justin Wong on a player two side. He'll be playing as Rufus. And uh, this is for the marbles. If Justin takes this, uh, his team will win the team tournament. If Zeus takes this, the bracket will be reset. 
bracket will be reset. <laughs> Just in the familiar slow pace feeling out process. Seeing what Zeus has got on his mind. And when he gets close enough for a dive kick or a well placed jump fear, she'll take the opportunity. Misses a dive kick. Yep. So he's got some pressure here. Zeus forced to back away. Nice crouch strong. And another one. Really preemptively trying to snuff Rufus from being able to jump and set up those dive kicks. Nice jump back fears. And Zeus is almost hunting Justin out to say, come on, attack me. I'll punish everything. Justin's doing a great job of mixing up his jump ins, but he's not getting anything off nope, of them. He has not landed a single hit so far in this round. 43 seconds remain. Great defense again from Zeus. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Justin putting on the pressure now, using some meter. He had a couple okay. hits. This third, and he'll finally get to confirm all the way. That was an ultra opportunity, but Justin chose not to take it. He wants to push his advantage here. Ouch. Not a lot of time left. He's got to take what he can get. Got him. He got him. What? Oh, oh my Justin God. Still eight seconds, though. Oh, my God. What? Do it. Are Do you it. For real? That was ridiculous. That was Holy ridiculous. Smokes. Come on now. He's <laughs> even he no nobody in this room does not have hand on that, forehead that, folks. That is straight Justin Factor. Even, there is there, there's nothing else you can call it. Oh man. Justin, Are you for real? Even Justin is laughing at that way. Unbelievable. That was ridiculous. Jump back Pierce again. Zeus played that entire round perfectly and it came down to those final seconds. Literally perfectly. Yep. <laughs> Literally. Justin Wong. Working out, Justin. Yeah, I, I think I think Zeus is done. I think the the mind flux might have been a little too Justin strong is on that. Flow chart now, man. <laughs> okay, good focus. Zeus manages to escape. No one signs a life. Okay. Does not get the setup. Oh, hello. It's over. Justin Wong takes it. Ladies and gentlemen, he won another one. <laughs> Justin, yeah, yeah, that was that was. Justin e. took that match. Somebody's and ran booing away in the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was rough. Justin Wong, folks. That's why he's the king. <laughs> at, at, at any point, at any time, Justin oh, can take man. a match and run away with it just like that, folks. Stay tuned. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Top 8 will be up shortly, and then I'll be back to close out the night with Street Fighter 4 Top 8 for those Capcom Pro Tour ranking points. We'll see you soon. See you in a couple, Ski. All right, guys, so coming up next is going to be Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'll see you guys there in just a minute. After that will be the conclusion.